Kerbal Space Program. It's an easy game. I got to the Mun and back to Kerbin with a random spacecraft built by a wheel. So if I can do that, then I'm sure that AI can do it too. And that's what we're doing today. So this is chat GPT. You probably know it. This was my prompt. Please design a spacecraft using this list of parts. And I put every single part in the game in this list. What did AI decide would be the ideal spacecraft for this situation? Great. Here's a design for a spacecraft that can land on the MUN using the parts you provided. Let's go and build this and see if it will work. Let's see if AI is all it's been hyped up to be. I'm sure this will work. I am absolutely positive this will work. And this is going to be an extremely short episode. <laughs> but that's fine. Because <laughs> I want to try this. I think it'll be cool. Okay, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Return stage. Mark 1 command pod. Okay. FL T-800. Okay. T-800. T-800 fuel tank. LV T-30. Reliant liquid fuel engine. Okay. I mean, that looks like a rocket. So... Pretty good so far. RCS systems. Four RV-105 RCS thruster blocks. Two on the lander stage and two on the return stage. Okay, so I'm guessing it's saying this. Four, place anywhere seven. Okay, CH-J3. We need one of these. Right there, maybe. Advanced inline stabilizer. Advanced reaction wheel. RCL-01. So, remote guidance. This is too big for this. This one could go here, though. I do need to do some things <laughs> that I think is implied, like decouplers, because it mentions a heat shield. That's huge! That's... what? This is my <laughs> return stage, apparently. Interesting choice. But, okay, we'll go with this one. They might know more than me. I... I don't know. Uh, parachutes. That's the other thing. Three radial mounted Mark 16 parachutes. You want me to radially mount these? Three of them. There you go. Radially mounted. Three of them. <laughs> you asked for this, AI. I'm trusting you. All right. So the stage below this, the one that lands on the MUN, Mark II Lander Can, FL T800 909 Terrier. This is a really interesting choice. Two of these can go right there. This is this is gonna be weird, man. What if I here? Let me. <laughs> boom, boom. That that'll be good. So this is for landing. All right. This this lands. Apparently, maybe I can try landing the whole thing. Oh, and I suppose actually maybe I should put one of these on. Okay, we'll do the reaction wheel. Sure. Transfer stage. S3-3600 tank. And the NERV atomic engine. So this is it. <laughs> this is the transfer stage. This this chunk right here. And it's remote, remote guided. So that's pretty wicked. Second stage. A Kerberdyne S3-7200 vector. That's second stage. Alright. Okay. First stage. 14, 400, one of these bad boys, four mammoth. Does it want four of these? Like, does it want me to attach them to the side? What? No. With four, I can do four. If you want four, I can do four. <laughs> Whatever you say, AI, this is, this is your thing. Hold on, I, I'm getting on to something here. Like this. <laughs> there we go. Alright. It's not like this won't work. <laughs> it just... <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll just hope for the best. And of course, of course, we have to strut the crap out of this. Will it be more efficient than the one I built? Randomly, with a wheel? I suppose we shall find out. Let's launch in three, two, one. 
We'll go full throttle. Just to see. <laughs> Got a little wobbling going on. <laughs> this one should get us to uh, up into orbit, right? This is the one to circularize the orbit. <laughs> AI is dumb. AI is stupid. You failed. AI can't even design a rocket. What the hell? Maybe. Please modify stage one to have more power. Okay, it's uh, it's not working. Please redesign stage one using the original parts list. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It's just reorganizing it. Here's a redesign. No, no, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Okay, what I've learned so far is AI is dumb. That or I'm dumb. Based on the, the list provided, I would recommend the following. Changes to improve the spacecraft's first stage. One, replace the four S3 and I got network error. <laughs> Add more engines to the first stage. Consider upgrading the existing engines for more powerful ones, such as man. That's the one that's on there. Okay, clearly the AI does not understand what I want. All right, add more fuel tanks. All I'm gonna do is we're gonna reduce this to one. I'm also going to add another fuel tank and that's it. Sorry to everyone's left ear. For some reason, that's the only side the rocket sounds coming out of. Which is actually really annoying. First stage just seemed to need more fuel. That, that was it. 70,000. That is space. Okay. Successful orbit. So far, AI was almost right. I believe at this point, I can just shoot for the moon. You know? All right. Let's go. We're here. We are in orbit. Perfect. I, I feel like I should land in all the big craters. Try to go dead center of this one. And we'll have a bunch of different landing spots of all our different weird ships that we make. <laughs> this is looking good. We are at... What's our altitude? 31,000 at 300 meters per second. That's pretty good. Seems manageable. And I just quick saved by accident. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, okay, that that's fine. Uh, I'm a little worried I'm coming in a little too fast. I should actually uh, bail on that stage. Hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't collide with that. Um, all right, good luck. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, we're gonna come in right where we want. This is perfect. Forty meters. We're out of fuel. We have touchdown. We have no control over the vehicle. We are tipping over. We are still alive. All right, Jebediah. You have technically successfully landed on the mun. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent landing. Just as I expected. Well done. Now for the hard part. <laughs> Look at that. We're going back to Kerbin uh, with a horizontal launch. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, Jebediah. Uh oh, I need this and I need to go uh, radial out. Oh my goodness, that was scary. 
It was not a good landing, but that wasn't the point. <laughs> the point wasn't to land well. The point was to land. And now we have to get home. I'm actually a little worried we don't have enough fuel. I don't know what we need, but I feel like this is not enough. Oh no, we're good. We are, we are, we're golden. All right. So we, we have no fuel left. So I suppose we can just ditch that and now hope for the best. Hey, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get close to the space center. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, the opposite side of the world. Maybe we'll land on a beach. All right, Jebediah, enjoy your vacation. We'll, uh, we'll come and get you in two weeks. We did it. AI did it, almost. <laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed. It got close and it needed, it needed less changes than I thought. I'd give it like, I don't know, a B minus. The rocket failed, but it had the fundamentals. It did most of the work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this. It was a weird experiment, but it was fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye.